Hello everyone, we have the Art of Conquest Wandering Balloon. So I'm going to start off by uh, collecting this uh, relic here. For this one, we want, uh, the, after 10 seconds, the God of Death butchers all enemy Graveborn heroes. That's the one that we want to get first. Yeah, it gives us a choice between two relics and we just have to choose the one that's going to help us help us out the most. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take out this camp that's at the bottom here. Okay, the first camp is down and we get to go ahead and collect our first chest here as well. And uh, we have a choice between going for this camp or this camp. We're actually going to go for this bottom camp here first and take out this camp. The second camp there is down and let's go ahead and get another relic here. This one we want to use the one that it puts the enemy light bearer heroes to sleep for 60 seconds. So it's this one right here. That's the second relic we're going to pick up. Okay, so this one, uh, we're going to go ahead now and take out this camp here. And there's uh, some dialogue from Hendrik here. Yeah, Hendrik is our, uh, our main hero for this one. Yeah, if you look here at the enemy uh, camp here, it has uh, Graveborn heroes here and it also has Lightbearer heroes. That's why we, we aimed for the Graveborn and Lightbearer relics. Okay, that main camp there is down, and uh, we do not get any relics, but all of our war relics have disappeared now, so now we do not have any relics. So yeah, every time that you take out one of those big camps, you do you lose all of your relics. Okay, so I'm going to start now uh, by going up to the north here and taking out this camp. Okay, that camp is down, and uh, we get the choice of another relic. Uh, this one we are going to choose after 10 seconds, the God of Death butchers all enemy Hypogean heroes. So we're going to choose the Hypogean one. Okay, so we have a, a chest up here. I'm going to go ahead and collect this chest up here first. And then uh, we're going to go down here to this camp and take out this camp here. Okay, another camp down. And let's go ahead and get another relic here. This one we're going to focus on the health regeneration. So reduce enemies' heroes' health regeneration by 100% during battles. And then we're going to go ahead and collect this chest down here. Okay, let's go ahead and go back up here over to this camp and take this camp out. Okay, that second main camp is down. We had Zorath in that one, so we unfortunately had to do that one twice. And all of our relics have once again disappeared. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and move up to this top camp and take this one down. Okay, that camp is down. And let's go ahead and collect another relic here. This one we're going to be aiming at the number of heroes. The number of enemy targets on the battlefield exceeds 5. All enemies will have uh, their damage re reduced until the end of the battle. That's the one we're going to choose here. And let's go ahead and collect uh, this uh, chest down here while we're uh, over here as well. And let's go ahead and take down this camp next. Okay, another camp down. And this one we're going to focus on the enemy tank. So enemy tank heroes receive more damage. And we're going to go ahead and take down this enemy camp down here next. Okay, the third major camp there is down, and once again, we're gonna all of our war relics will disappear. Okay, I'm gonna move up to this uh, corner here and take out take down this camp. Okay, that camp is down, and the relic we're gonna choose from here is we're gonna choose the one during battle, the God of Death butchers any enemies who have their health less than 25%. And we're also gonna go ahead and collect this chest here as well, and I'm gonna go ahead and take down this camp next. There we go, that camp is down. And let's go ahead and move. I'm going to move over here to this camp next. Okay, that camp is down. And let's go ahead and collect the relic. Uh, we're going to choose the, choose the one allied heroes are immune to control effects during the battle. That's the one we're going to choose. And let's go ahead and move down here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take down this camp so I can get uh, this chest here. Okay, that camp is down. And let's go ahead and collect this chest. Okay, so we have uh, two We have two relics right here. Um, we're going to choose the one that's on the uh, left first. We're going to go ahead and take this one down first. Okay, there we go. And let's go ahead and choose another relic. Um, we're going to choose the one that does da does more damage to backline enemies. So yeah, choose the one that does backline enemy heroes. Then we're going to go over to this one over to the right. Okay, that one's down. And let's see here. Um, we're going to do the one... Uh, Ally heroes are immune to damage the first three times they receive damage value exceeds a certain value. That's the one we're going to do. Okay, so for uh, for the two major camps here, the first camp that we're going to take down is the one on the right. So we're going to take down the one that has the full set of celestial heroes. Okay, took down the first of the two major camps there, and all of our war relics have disappeared, unfortunately. But And we have one more camp here. And this one is a full team of Arthur. This is where a hero like Ainz would be very useful. Yeah, like I said, Ainz is very useful in that one, taking down all those Arthurs. 
And there we go, we get to go ahead and uh, get the second chest there, and that should be it for the Art of Conquest. And um, I'm going to go ahead and check the menu like I always do, just to make sure I didn't miss any uh, relics or any chests here. No, I didn't. 100% completed. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this adventure. Hey, if you made it this far into the video and haven't subscribed yet, make sure to subscribe. And also, I'll leave the video of the Descent of the White Wolf Voyage of Wonder that I did recently. And thanks for watching.